So in this video, I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about the Diplomat Space Tech Pearl. So Diplomat is a pen company. They have a line of pens called the Space Tech line, and this is the Pearl within that line. The Space Tech line from Diplomat is uh, very, very similar to the uh, Fisher Space Pens. I think they actually license some of the pen designs from Fisher, or maybe they just buy the Fisher Pens and put their logo on them for some of them, but not all of them. The Pearl is a unique design that's not sold through Fisher. It's not a rebranded Fisher or anything like that. And in fact, it's kind of hard to find in the U.S. It took me a while to track this one down, so I wanted to talk about it. it sells for maybe about, uh, if you were to buy it where it's sold, which is in primarily in the U.K., I think it would cost you like maybe 15 pounds around there, maybe 14, something like that. But, you know, maybe like 20 bucks in the U.S. But again, you got to find one, which is, I think they're on Amazon now, but they were not easy to find for a very long time. So again, it's the Diplomat is a company that makes it. They're a pen manufacturer that most people will, will know about if you're into, you know, smaller pen manufacturers. The line is Space Tech and the pen is called the Pearl. The body is fully metal. It's an all metal pen. It's kind of a bare bones pen. You can see there's not a lot to it. Kind of has a sort of a Muji feel to it where it's really non-distinct. Uh, but, you know, but still classy, and it's sort of very, I would say minimalist would be the main word I would use here. Even the logo, you could see here, it's printed on. It uses the same font across the board, same color. It's starting to peel. Sorry about that. It's starting to peel off, even though the pen is in really good shape. These are starting to come off. So I think it just kind of goes to show how it's a, it's a nice pen and it's well made, but it is uh, very minimalist, bordering on bare bones. Like I said, fully metal design, metal button, quiet click, metal clip. Really not much to say about the, the uh, clip. It's sort of one of those sharp ones that like kind of hurts a little bit when you use your finger nail to push it. It's very firm, but it works fine for jeans, and things like that. The body is all metal. It has sort of a bead, a bead blasted finish to it. You can't tell. It just feels smooth, but you can see the finish is uh, sort of blasted in uh, I'd say a pretty nice way. The grip is the thing about the pen I was most excited about. And it just looks, from a distance, it looks very cool. It looks like uh, that the, this body is made out of a thicker aluminum or magnesium, something like that, zinc, who knows. Uh, but I always assumed it was aluminum. And that there were little uh, diamond plate type patterns were cut out of it, sort of like machined out of it. So I was really excited to get that. It would feel like an old school uh, Criterion, or one of those pens, Criterion, whatever they're called. Uh, I've talked about them on the channel a few times, where you had a thicker body with really nice machine work here, as opposed to using a knurling. But when I got the pen, I couldn't find a video like this one. So I, when I got the pen, I realized that that grip is just printed on. It's just gray paint that's printed on in a sort of diamond plate type pattern. And, uh, it adds a little bit of texture to it, but not a whole lot. It's, it's uh, I'd say really just pointing to get a, a grip and paint it on. Even if it does help a little bit, it just kind of, uh, I'd say it rubs me the wrong way. Front piece here is metal. It's an okay match between the body and the grip. Clearly the body has that sort of bead blasted finish I was talking about before. You can make it out there, like right there. You can kind of see it pretty well. Uh, but the cone piece up front is clearly a satin finish. So the match is okay. Not great, but it's fine. This piece unscrews pretty easily, perhaps too, only, too easily because it could loosen up a little bit when you're writing. It doesn't fall off or anything like that, but it is pretty loose. Inside, there's a lightweight spring. And here we have a refill that looks a whole lot like the Fisher Space Pen refill. You know, I know Diplomat does do some collaborative work with Fisher Space Pen. I think they license pens from them, pen designs at least. And the refill looks a whole lot like the Fisher PR4, like their famous refill. Uh, this one's made in Germany, which means it's really unlikely it's made by Fisher, as Fisher makes everything they do in the U.S. So I don't think this is a rebranded Fisher Space Pen refill, but it looks a whole lot like the size and shape of the Fisher pressurized refill. So maybe this is a licensed design. Maybe it's just uh, Diplomat's own design. I don't really know. 
I've been unable to find any sort of uh, talk about that. But again, it looks exactly like a Fisher Space Pen refill. I'll do a quick comparison with those in a minute. It is a different color. Fisher's pens are always, the refills are always gold. The older ones look a little bit coppery, but this one's obviously silver. Same size though as a Fisher Space Pen refill. And it doesn't really say much on here. Just Space Tech by Diplomat. Then uh, Gazdruck, Gostert. Sorry, it's not just pronouncing, pronouncing the German there. It just means, uh, I believe, pressurized, which it says right here. Made in Germany. And then there's a little M here for size. And then there's a 907, which I'm not really sure what that means. But uh, usually Fisher would have a refill. They always have a date on the refill. But it appears to be pressurized. It is sealed there. And there's these little stamps here, which I'm not really sure what they do. And Fisher doesn't have those. But you can see it is pressurized because a pressurized ballpoint, if you don't use it for a couple hours, uh, I can't get that to focus, it will start to collect some ballpoint gunk at the front. And that's exactly what happened here. Okay, we'll take a quick look at the size of the pen. Then we'll run through the refills and then we'll do a writing sample. So here is the space tech. It is on the long side. It's one, two, three, four, five, about five and a half inches long. Here is that Pentel alloy, uh, energy alloy. That's a little longer than it's closer to six inches. And that's a, that's a big pen. So they're about the same length. The energy is a lot thicker, obviously. Uh, here is the Eclipse, the Fisher Space Pen Eclipse. This is a, I would say, shorter to average size pen. This one's right around here, right around five inches. So you can see a pretty good comparison there. Now, uh, here is that Diplomat refill. You can see it uses a, PR, a Fisher PR4 type design, but there are some subtle differences. We'll open up the official Fisher pen and we'll get out the official refill from Fisher. Uh, this one, here we go. You can see this one uses that sort of coppery color. It uh, is made in the USA, I think. They say it's somewhere, maybe they don't. They say their address, which is in, Bol in uh, Boulder City, Nevada. And they do definitely say the date. Anyway, we'll see the two are exactly the same size, exactly the same profile. The top pieces, Look a little different. The fissure is extended out. That little uh, piece is extended out here. The uh, Diplomats is kind of curved in as if it was uh, pushed in this way, but is really just it was wrapped around. Whereas this one doesn't have that sort of wrap around of the cap. But those two inserts look really similar. The, uh, the sort of, I would say the shoulder right here, same diameter, but uh, the uh, Diplomat has those little divots there. I'm not really sure what purpose that serves. They're the same diameter. The front ends are the same length, but Fisher has a little sort of a uh, shield piece here, then it extends down. This is straight, it's a single piece. And then a little bit different of a writing tip as well. So uh, I'm not really sure what to make of it. My guess would be that Diplomat just licensed the design from Fisher instead of having the refills actually manufactured by Fisher, but I really have no idea. Now we will do a quick writing sample and that will be that. First up, we have the Diplomat Space Tech Pearl Black Medium. So this is a pretty standard black ballpoint ink. It writes a whole lot like, almost exactly like the Fisher Space Pen Refill, which means it writes upside down, it writes underwater, does all those cool things you'd expect from the Fisher Space Pen Refill. And now we have the real deal Fisher PR4 Refill. This is relatively new, so it should be a pretty close comparison. Both pens have been used for like a few weeks, but really not a whole lot in terms of the life of a ballpoint pen. So this is the 
Fisher Space Pen Eclipse. This is also black medium. This definitely feels a lot smoother to me. Even though they write the same, it feels smoother to me. And it's laying down. That's the Fisher. That's the Diplomat. Definitely darker here, laying down a thicker line. It felt smoother to me. Here, the performance is fairly similar, but the Eclipse is definitely darker and better writing. So uh, maybe they're not the same, or maybe Diplomat used the design, but didn't really get the same quality out of the uh, the finished product as Fisher's able to. Obviously, Fisher's been you know, making these refills expertly for a very long time. But the Diplomat is pretty close, and it is pressurized, and it does write upside down and all those other things. So that's pretty nice. Anyway, so that is the Diplomat Space Tech Pearl. Pretty interesting pen. I would not recommend buying it. Uh, looks cooler than it actually is. And uh, I like it, but there's a lot of other better pens out there for the money. So that's it. Thanks for watching.